Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Talia and today we're going to be talking about the HESI admission exam and my tips for scoring over a 90 on the test. So if you're unsure about what the HESI is or you've never heard of it, it's basically an entrance exam that you use to gain admission into a nursing program. So last year when I decided to apply to nursing school, I noticed that there were a lot of schools that I was applying to that required the exam because they use it as part of like a holistic review of your GPA, um, extracurriculars, and this test is just another way that they can evaluate you to see if you'll gain admission into their program. So just to let you guys know some of the things that you could be tested on, I was tested on math, reading, comprehension, vocab, grammar, biology, and anatomy and physiology. But depending on your program, you could also be tested on chemistry and physics. So that's just something to be aware of. Always check on the program that you want, their website, and see what exactly they recommend that you study or what specific subjects they want you to look at because not every program requires every subject. Now, I know everyone's studying method is different. For some people, it may only take them a week to prepare for an exam like this. But me personally, it took me a month and a half to study and score over a 90. I started studying for the exam after I finished my finals in December last year and it was a really hard time to study because it was like I was I just finished studying for all these final exams and I was kind of like burnt out and tired so I had to just take time aside to study for the HESI but there was also like Christmas and the holidays and New Year's and everything like that so that made it really difficult to focus and the only thing I can say with that is just study maybe even an hour a day at first or 30 minutes whatever you can whatever you feel like you can dedicate and work up to studying longer because it's really not an exam that you want to like spend eight hours a day studying you're gonna get tired and it's just I don't think that's an effective way to do it so I needed more preparation with math because I've never taken an advanced level math class like that before and it's not that the math is hard, it has just like basic algebra and fractions and stuff like that but it just takes a little bit of practice when you've been out of practice for a while with those kinds of things because that's just not something that I was actively using in the classes that I was taking now with my prerequisites. Now because I was taking prerequisites at the time like microbiology the biology section did come a lot easier to me and I didn't have to focus on studying for that part of it as much. However, for a subject like anatomy, I needed more preparation for that because I haven't taken AMP since the summer and I took it in a really rushed course. I needed to go over that a little bit more versus someone who may have just taken the class. It's been months since I've learned things like the bones and where muscles are and everything like that and all the names. So I really needed a big refresher on those kinds of things. So with all of that in mind, there's three big study materials that I recommend to you to use that helped me a lot. And the biggest one is this book, The HESI Admission assessment exam review it is by the people that make the exam I'm not sure if I'm saying this right uh, but Elsevier that's the company that makes the admissions test so that's always a great resource when you're studying for an exam like that it's usually best to buy the book from the people that make the exam because they know exactly what's going to be on it so the book starts out by having a pretest, and you can take that to kind of evaluate where you stand what subject areas you're weak in I think it has like 30 questions and then when you know exactly what you might need work on or what you need to study you can go into the sections one by one honestly I would recommend reading this book from cover to cover I know it's annoying but it helped a lot um, I went through the mathematics part of it and did all of the questions they're like little practice problems and just doing all of those practice problems it was annoying but I felt so much more prepared going into the exam because of that and I didn't really need to like look up extra practice problems aside from that and I'm terrible at math so that honestly prepared me and I couldn't believe like on the math part of it I think I got like a 98 or something like that because your score is broken down by section so I actually wound up scoring really high on the math part and I really attribute it to this book and then the other part of the book that I would recommend using is within each section there's this HESI hint portion of it so that will just give you like a little extra tip 
on how you can prepare for the exam or a specific subject that they're talking about or a topic, just something extra to remember. And all those little hints helped a lot too when it came time to the exam. Another part of this book which I loved was the vocabulary section. It's basically a list of a bunch of definitions. So I just went through that list and I highlighted any words that I didn't recognize. Then I would go back and make flashcards to try to memorize anything that I didn't know. And honestly you guys, that helped so much because I feel like the some of the vocab words from this book were on the exam so that's something that you'll notice too is that because this is the book made by the people that make the exam very similar questions are going to appear I also really had to brush up on my grammar skills and that's another great section of this book because it breaks it down by like the eight parts of speech like adjective noun etc then it goes into um, tenses and everything like that verb usage and all those things so that's really great to kind of read up on if you're a little bit shaky because those questions are actually a little bit more tricky than they seem um, I wouldn't just like skim over these parts I would really make sure you go in there and know what it is because I thought I knew and I didn't so I really needed to make sure I knew what I was learning then this book also includes sections on biology and anatomy and physiology. And even though it provides a pretty basic overview of the subject matter, which could be helpful, it's not enough. This book, I'm telling you, it's not enough to study for those two parts of the exam. Unless you have a really strong grasp on the concepts, or if you've just taken anatomy and physiology and biology, I wouldn't just rely on this book alone. It's impossible. It doesn't go deep enough. It's impossible for it to go deep enough on the subjects in only a couple of pages because they could honestly really ask you kind of like anything about those subjects. So that's why I recommend that you also supplement what you're studying in this book based on biology and AMP with videos on YouTube. Crash Course is awesome because it'll kind of jog your memory on those subjects and like everything that you may have learned in your classes before. I would go through this playlist and look to see if there's anything that you're rusty on. For me, it was the muscular system and the digestive system. I really needed to brush up on those. For you, it could be something different. So for those two parts of the book, just really use the book as a way to kind of skim over the subject and be like, oh yeah, I don't really remember that. Let me look that up. Just look it up a little deeper and trust me, you'll get a better grade. And then this book also has chemistry and physics in it. But as I mentioned, I didn't have to take those parts of the exam, so I didn't study that part of the book. But altogether, if you're studying everything from the book, it's like 146 pages. Um, so, you know, it takes a little bit of time to get through, but honestly, so worth it. So I would just dedicate like maybe an hour every day to just trying to read this book and getting through as much of it as you can until you finish it. Then once you're done with that, I would go download on your phone, your iPad, whatever, this app, that app is so good you guys. It is bomb. Like, I loved it. Now they have multiple plans available. They have a free version, but I think the free version only lets you unlock a certain amount of questions. And then once you unlock all of your questions, it's kind of like, I need more now, or at least I needed more. Maybe it'll be enough questions for you, but I felt like I wanted more practice. So I purchased the plan that was like, I think 600 questions, if I'm not mistaken, or 700, something like that, for like $15 and then you can go in and like make entire practice tests on the questions you want like let's say you just want to test yourself on like 60 questions of vocabulary or 60 questions of grammar if that's what you're struggling with you can just make your test your practice test all on that one subject matter which is really helpful for strengthening your skills in one area and then you can also just go through that app whenever you have some free time like if you're waiting in the car for something or if you're just in bed laying down Every night before I would go to sleep, I would do like maybe 20 or 15 questions, not even a lot, just enough to kind of like get a little practice in until I was done with my 600 questions. And trust me, you guys, those 600 questions go a lot faster than you think. Within a couple of weeks, I had already finished all of the questions in the plan. You also get access to a daily question in the app. It's a randomized question on any subject matter. When you open it, it shows you the app. So you could do that every day when you wake up or something like that. Just open your phone, answer that daily question, and boom, you already did one, que one more question that day. 
than you would have if you hadn't studied. So now if you want even more preparation or if you're extra like me and feel like you just need a little bit something extra to just really get those concepts in your head, I also found this book to be helpful. It is the Hesse A2 Secrets Study Guide by Mometrics. Now, this book was not as good as the Hesse Admission Assessment Exam Review by Elsevier, but it was worth picking up because it just has even more practice questions. The main reason I wanted to buy this book was that unlike the Elsevier review, this one has a practice test in the back. A week before my exam, I sat down and took the practice test and timed myself. That was more for me just to get over my jitters of being timed and it's just really good practice and test taking to kind of simulate what the conditions of the test might be like the day of. So time yourself in a quiet place where no one's bothering you and just go through that test. At the end of it, I graded myself and saw, okay, I might need a little bit of improvement and that's just a good way to see if your studying method is working if it's not or if there's something that you're still really struggling with go back and review again after i finished testing myself i would go through the answer key and it also has really in-depth explanations for the answers of anything that you got wrong on the practice test which was helpful in pointing out anything that i needed improvement on but i will say that the l sevier book was easier to study from because it had pictures for the biology and AMP sections and everything was broken down neatly. This page is kind of like they just slap some text on the page and that's it and they put the book together. So it's a really dense read because it's just like paragraphs and paragraphs of pages. So I wouldn't really recommend studying from this one. I would honestly just use the Mometrics book for practice questions. And that's pretty much all of the study materials that I use to practice and study for this exam and you guys I know it feels like there's so much writing on this exam but really all you have to do is just take a deep breath because everything is gonna be okay if you study ahead of time and give yourself enough time to review you should be good now keep in mind that you don't have to have a perfect score in every section every section is calculated into your grade and that gives you your overall grade which is what most schools look at so in my case, I did really well in the reading and vocab areas, but I didn't do so hot on the anatomy section. But because I did great on reading, vocab, math, and I got like 98s on those sections, it averaged out and made a 91. If you go into the test thinking that you're weak on a certain subject area, like biology, don't worry. Just try to do your best on the other sections and it might make up for what you're lacking in one area with the other grades that get calculated into your average. Also, if all else fails and you have to retake the test, find out if your school lets you retake it. And if you have to retake it, do it again and give it another try. There's nothing wrong with that or trying to get a better grade the second time around. Unfortunately, the school that I was applying to didn't let me take it a second time in that application cycle. If I wanted to take it again, I would have to wait until the next application cycle to try to take it again. So I really had to make it count that time. And if it's like that, just do as best as you can. So I really hope that this put your mind at ease a little bit about what the exam is going to be like. I remember going on YouTube and looking at videos of other people who had taken the exam and it just seemed like it was so much easier for them or like they, they didn't have to study as much. And I hope that this helps you if you're the kind of person that feels like you need a lot of preparation before going into an exam because for some people it's just not as easy to be a great test taker as others. I'm not the best test taker so I hope that this helps you if you're someone like that. I wish you guys the best of luck in your nursing school entrance exams and please let me know if this video helped you. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye!